Hey, welcome back to Wings Eagles Ministry. We're doing a little video today in which I want to share with you just a little talk. Um, I'm just going to come to you, just me to you, and I want to share with you something that the Lord showed me or really told me uh, on how to hear and how to know the truth. This is a very important question. Why? Because... If you're watching this channel, more than likely, hopefully, you believe in God, you want to please God, and hopefully most everybody believes in eternal life. So it's important to know that you're right with God, and it's important to know that you will spend eternity in a wonderful place someday as part of the redeemed, rather than being lost for all eternity. As the scripture says, there's two places. So I want to answer the question tonight. How can I tell who's right and who's wrong? And I'm going to answer it the way the Lord told me, because I actually asked the Lord that. Now, I started preaching, as I've shared on this channel before. I have started I started preaching back in the early 90s, uh, around 1991. And uh, so probably about this time, uh, you might see a picture come up, as my daughter will probably put one in. And this is around the time I started preaching. Uh, and this is my wife and myself. So at this time, of course, I'm wearing my little suit. My wife, we're getting ready to go to church somewhere. And uh, our picture was taken. So this gives you a little idea of what we looked like many, many years ago. But as I began to preach, I realized that my words that go forth have the power to help an individual, direct an individual to Christ, or could actually turn an individual off. I've heard and seen many things over the years in the ministry. Some I would question because I would think that I don't agree with that. That can't be right. And and I'm not talking about, you know, uh, I'm talking about when I would get out and go other places. I mean, I'm thankful for my upbringing, the pastor that I had. Um, he was a wonderful, wonderful man. He taught us well. And uh, But I'm saying when I would get out and go places and visit, you know, sometimes I would see things that just didn't exactly register with me. But as I began to preach... The question would come to me. I wanted to make sure, because here's the thing. When I came to the Lord, and I really got right with God. Now, I was raised in church, grew up in church. And uh, and like I said, I'm just talking to you on this video, me to you. But when I, I grew up in church, and I was raised in, uh, in church, as far as, you know, when it was church night, that's where we was. That's where we went. Um, but of course, as you get older, you know, you begin to... You know, in your teenage years, other things begin to uh, s sort of push the Lord aside. And uh, but I was I was I guess in my early twenties, and I always continued to go to church. But of course, you know, I would get in you know sports mind minded and get my first job and starting school, college, and things like this. But um, then, but when I really gave my heart to the Lord, and then. Shortly after that, God called me to preach. I love to hear preaching. I love to hear people preach. I love to hear teaching. I just wanted to hear it. Well, as you begin to listen, and you know what I'm talking about, you could put you up 10 of the best preachers that you probably have ever heard. But there's going to be a little something probably with each one that you differ about. Maybe you don't see eye to eye with them. Now, one of our faithful subscribers, that uh, she puts up a lot of good Christian videos. She posted a little song the other day on one of her videos. And uh, I don't remember the exact words it said, but it said something like, we might not always see eye to eye, but we can still agree, or something to that effect. And, and I believe that's true. Uh, and I want to answer this question again. 
If you don't agree with someone on everything, how do you know what is truth? How do you know what is correct? How do you know what is right? Now, a lot of the people that I've heard, and I'm going to give you an example here in a moment. I'm not going to name out people, but um, this one preacher I never met before. I just heard him over uh, social media. And of course, back before the internet became a big thing, I used to buy some of his tapes. But we agreed almost everything on every little point I heard him ever speak about. I agreed 100% with him. And, but then, and, and let, me, let me clarify something. When I'm talking about you might differ with someone, I'm not talking about salvation. I'm not talking about sin. I'm not talking about Jesus Christ. Because obviously we need to all agree on that, and that person needs to be preaching that correct. If, if you're listening to someone that says God has changed his mind on sin, then obviously that's a whole different ballgame. I'm talking about little things here and there that you might hear somebody preach on that's, that causes differences in people. But this man, I, this man, I was listening to him preach, and uh, I'd heard him years, but I'd never heard him speak on this one thing. You know, he talked about healings. He talked about, you know, the miracles of God. He was talking, he talked Bible prophecy. He talked all these things. And boy, I, you know, well, I bought one time, I bought a, a study of his in which he had on the book of Revelation. So I had listened to the whole cassette tape series on Revelation. Well, he got to the very end. I guess it was the last chapter of Revelation. And he began to talk on this and he said, now, as far as the Bible talks here about the streets of gold and the walls of Jasper and, you know, heaven or the new Jerusalem, as the scripture says, he said, if that, whether that's a literal place or not, I don't know. He said, I've never heard of gates of pearl and walls of Jasper. But he said, the important thing is we'll be with Christ. And then he went on. And I thought, what? You can preach on healing? You can preach that Jesus Christ raised the dead and rose from the grave. You can preach on all these things that the Word of God talks about, but then you question heaven? And it really bothered me. But I began to, I, be, I wanted to know, and that's what this whole video is about. Like I said, if you line up 10 preachers, good preachers that you enjoy listening to, they'll probably all be differ with you somewhere and I'll use back to my pastor for example my pastor and I there was a little area where we didn't exactly agree and I went over to speak to him one night about it and uh, because I wanted him to know he was having me preach for him obviously I mean uh, I was sort of his uh, assistant I guess you would call it and uh, I took care of things when he wanted to go you know somewhere whatever and uh, so I went over and I told him one night, but we went over to his house and my wife, she went off with uh, his wife in another room and it was just me and him talking. And I told him, I said, brother, I said, I want you to understand that I sort of see that a little different. And you know, we talked several minutes on that. You know what he told me? He said, we, he said, that's not a heaven or hell issue. In other words, that's not going to determine your salvation, where we're, we, we see things a little different. So he said, that's not anything that would divide us, which I didn't think it would, but I wanted him to know. And I thought, praise the Lord, hallelujah, you know. But I wanted to, I want to address in this video again what the Lord told me. Because I wanted to know. I said, Lord, and I remember praying one day going up the road. And I prayed basically like what I'm telling you. And I, I'm not trying to drag this thing out. I'm just talking me to you. And I hope you're enjoying this. Hope you enjoyed the picture of me and my wife uh, 30 years ago, I guess it was. But I asked the Lord. I said, Lord, how do you know? I can listen to all these preachers. And all of these preachers can preach wonderful, powerful sermons. 
but I differ, or they differ, we, they all differ with each other. And I said, Lord, I'm preaching to souls today that are going to be maybe saved or lost depending on what I say. And I said, Lord, I want to know that what I'm preaching is right. And how do you know what's right and what's wrong when you've got 10 different people preaching and all of them preach different things on different parts of the gospel? And again, I'm not talking about salvation. I'm not talking about sin. I'm, I'm talking about little areas here and there. Well, as I was praying, I know... <laughs> I know the Lord told me in the clearest voice, I guess it, if it's the voice that, uh, it wasn't an audible, it wasn't a literal voice, but I heard him say it. If you can hear somebody say something without hearing them say it, he said it. It was just like he spoke the words in my mind driving down the road. He spoke it clear enough that there was no doubt in my mind. There's no doubt in my mind to this day what he told me. And he actually quoted a verse out of the scripture. And I'm going to read it to you. It's in 2 Timothy chapter number 4. Now I'm actually going to read starting at the first verse. He didn't quote this. This wasn't what he told me. But I'm going to read this verse and then I'm going to read uh, something else. In 2 Timothy chapter 4, the Apostle Paul said, I charge thee. Now this shows you the importance of preaching truth. Paul was instructing Timothy. And here's what Paul said. Paul said, I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing in his kingdom. So that right there gives you the severity. Paul told Timothy, I charge you before God right now. Before God, I'm charging you, putting this charge before you. So that shows you how important what he said was. Now what he said, the very first part of this next sentence, is what the Lord told me. I said, Lord, how do you know Who's right on all this? And the Lord said to me, this is what he told me, and it's the same thing that Paul told Timothy, the first three words in verse 2. The Lord said, preach the word. I mean, it was as clear as day. Driving down the road, the Lord said, preach the word. Preach the word. Well, I'm going to tell you about my experience now. I thought, oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I, it, it made me feel so wonderful. When, when God speaks to you and you know it's him and I knew it was him, I just said, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm driving down the road so happy. Well, I was on the parkway, which I had to drive around 30 miles on the parkway. So I'm driving in the middle of this 30-mile area, thinking so wonderful in my head, joyous, thank you, Jesus. And then all of a sudden, it hit me. I thought, wait a minute. Lord, that just says preach the word. It don't tell me what, what it don't really tell me specifically the answer to what I ask you. And I thought, Lord, that's really not answering me even though I thought it was. So the rest of my drive down the parkway, I'm sort of confused. And I thought, Lord, why did I get that answer? You know, I'm wanting to know. I guess, I guess if you've got A, B, C, D, E, as, quest, as, as possible answers. And the Lord gives you P. It's like, that wasn't one of the possibilities, Lord. So I was really, I kept, I kept thinking on it, but I thought, Lord, I just, I don't understand. Well, I just went ahead, and it was about a day or two later, 
And again, I was out on the road. And the Lord told me what he meant by that. The Lord showed me what he meant. I did not understand. I said, Lord, how do you know which one's right? Who is right? And the Lord said, preach the word. And I was so happy. Then I thought, what? That didn't give me the answer I need. The next day, it was either the next day or the day after, I was driving down the parkway again, almost the same spot. And the Lord showed me what he meant. And as soon as he did, I thought, God, you're so amazing. You're so wonderful, Lord. You're so right. The Lord showed me that all I'm required to do is preach the word to you or anyone, wherever I'm preaching. As long as I, and it was like the Lord told me that next time, as long as you preach the word, you're not going to go wrong. And it's up to the individual to come away and say, well, I believe it's this way or I believe it's that way. So how do you know today who's telling the truth? How do you know who's preaching to you truth? When they preach to you out of the Word of God, read it to you out of the Word of God, or tell you where they found it, and you can look it up, that is preaching the truth. Now I'm going to give you an example, and I hope and pray that you're still with us on this, with me, because I know a lot of times that people don't really take the time to listen to full videos, but I hope you're going to get this, because I'm going to give you one of the best examples that the Lord showed me of what I'm talking about. One of the top examples today of dividing division among Christianity is the rapture. Now, I'm just using this. There are many things that I'm talking about today as far as just preach the word. And in the upcoming weeks, Lord willing, I want to touch on some of these things that I'm just going to give you the scripture for. It's up to you to decide and say, well, I don't, I don't think that, I don't think it's important. I do think it's important or whatever. But I want to, I want to use this as an example. Now, most people, I read a, I read a, something out of a Christian brochure one time. And this is mainly for people in the United States as far as one part of it. But they said if, if you want to, it, it was a little funny clip, and it said if you want to get trouble started at your family dinner that you're having, where everybody comes in that you hardly ever see, said if you want to get trouble started, ask who here is a Republican and who's a Democrat. And then it said, and if you want to get trouble started in a Christian type way at your table, ask, okay, who's pre, mid, or post tribulation? Rapture. Now, the rapture, what I'm talking about, is some people believe that the rapture will be before the tribulation. Other people believe that the rapture will be at the middle of the tribulation. Other people believe that the rapture will be after the tribulation. Everybody's got an opinion. I have mine. But the Lord showed me this as an example. Do you know what all you got to do is preach? See, basically, a lot of things we can read, and it comes down then to people saying, well, now the Scripture says here this, I believe this means this, I believe this means that. But you know what the main thing is on that? Jesus said, when the trumpet sounds... You better be right with God. The Word of God says, Work while it's day, for night cometh and no man can work. And the Word of God says, Occupy until I come. So, really, a lot of people are, are divided because one sees something one way and another sees something another way when actually the scripture says 
basically occupy until I come. You work until I come. And whenever the trumpet sounds, make sure you're right with God. And then you say, well, yeah, but if somebody believes this, well, they won't, they won't, you know, if, if somebody believes one way and it's wrong, it's wrong, you know, how will they know about what goes on in the book of Revelation? Preach the book of Revelation. That's one thing you do it. Preach the book of Revelation. Don't take away. The Bible warns against adding to and taking away from the Word of God. So you've got to preach the book of Revelation. And then other people say, well, now, if you believe, anybody that believes that the word of, that the rapture will happen at this point, then that's telling anybody you can live every, any way you want to live. No, you, the Bible doesn't say that either. The Bible said you are not promised tomorrow. No man is promised tomorrow. And the one man that said he was going to go out and build bigger barns and, and have greater fields and all these things, and the Lord told him, he said, today, he said, this, thou fool, this day thy soul will be required of thee. So you see what I'm saying? People might differ on this area and that area, but the important thing is, and that's what the Lord told me, on, on all, I'm not just, I'm, not, I'm using this as an example, preach the word. As long as you preach the word, people, people can then decide, well, I think this is going to happen this way. I think it's going to happen that way. All I'm going to do is preach to you what the word of God says, and that is when Jesus returns, you'd better be ready. And if you go by the way of the grave first, you better be ready. The Bible said no man has the promise of tomorrow. You better be ready. But it's not, I'm not just talking about that. I'm, talk, I'm talking about so many other little areas that the Word, of God, the Word of God teaches on. I mean, I've had people question me today. Not today, but in, over time, they questioned me on baptism. You know, I, I was baptized. I thank God for being baptized uh, in an old trough like uh, the cattle drink out of a lot of cattle troughs in, in the, little, the church, country church I, I was growing up in. Actually, it wasn't more of a city, but we was sort of a country church in the city. But, you know, it's up to me to preach the word, what the word of God says. It's up to you. Then you can take that word and do what you want to with it. But when I ask the Lord, how do you know who's right? How do you tell who's right? The Lord told me all I'm required to do is preach this gospel right here. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to preach the Word. Every time I make a video, I want to preach to you as the Word of God or teach, however I do it, as the Word of God is upon me. Then it's up to you to understand. It's up to you to take that and say, hey, you know, I believe I need to do that. I don't believe I need to do that. You know, if I say, if I say you need to have a prayer, prayer life, you need to pray. I'm not saying 24-7. You don't go around praying 24-7. But if I say you need to have, you need to at least daily talk to God just a little bit. If you decide not to do it, that's your call. But I want to preach to you the Word where the Bible talks about prayer. I want to talk to you and tell you as the Word of God says. And here's, here's why. People can take this thing and they can leave parts out that the Word of God says preach. Paul said I charge you, Timothy, to preach the Word. God told me that day in the car to preach the Word. And I didn't understand it that first day. But two days later or the next day, one of, one of the other, I understood what he meant. Preaching the Word, it's up to you then. It's up to you. And the Bible warns. It says, do not take away or do not add to this book. And you know, that's the problem with a lot of people. When it gets to a lot of these areas, these other little areas, they say things like, you know, they might read a verse and then they say, I believe so-and-so, or I believe so-and-so. Here, I just want to tell you what the Word of God says. Because anybody can say, I believe it means this, or I believe it means that. I want to take it for what exactly it says. Preach the Word. And the Lord told me, He said, as long as you preach the Word, you'll be all right. 
So that's the answer today. I'm going to preach the word. And you say sometimes, well, you might look at a subject in the word of God that may be in the New Testament that Jesus taught on. And you might say, well, so-and-so never teaches on that. That's not preaching the word. Because the Lord put it in here for a reason. And if you've got anything, someone asked me, they've asked me, They sometimes my daughter puts the email in our description box, and sometimes people will email me with questions. Sometimes they'll put it in the descriptions. And I want to speak on some of these things that they're asking me about. And I want to try to teach little lessons on them. I don't normally don't go this long, but I just thought it was important today to let you know that when I get in front of someone and I'm using the Word of God, we're all going to be standing before God. We're all going to stand before God someday in answer to the things that are in this book. I don't want to leave anything out that the Word that the Lord tells me to preach or speak on. If the Lord says it's important, I want to talk about it. I hope you've enjoyed this, and I hope you understand what I'm saying. And it's sort of sometimes the way the Lord works. You know, like I said, the, the first day He told me that, he said, preach the word. Boy, I was so happy. Well, then later I thought, Lord, wait a minute. That didn't tell me who's right. But then he told me just a short time later, preach the word, not my opinion. Not, well, I think so and so. Preach the word. And as long as you preach the word, he said, you'll be okay. And it'll be up to the individual to make their choice. Hope you've enjoyed this video, and uh, please, if you if you did like it and you're new here, hit the subscribe button because we're going to be taking up some subjects here in the near near future, Lord willing. And then, of course, I try to also post little videos that uh, maybe inspirational or maybe make you smile or maybe some days he'll just be sharing a verse. But I believe it's important. This is one thing. This channel is one thing that God put upon me to do, and He's blessed it. And I know sometimes I don't want people to ever get tired of seeing this pop up if you've got notifications on. I don't want you to get tired of seeing that because I want you to enjoy seeing that. Thinking, oh, I can, I can learn something today or maybe he'll do something a little uplifting or I can get a verse. And then sometimes we share shorts. It might be of our animals to make you smile or maybe it's a word of God that would make somebody think. We hope you want to be a part of this channel because we sure do want to have you. And to all of you that are a part of this channel, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. From mine, my wife, my daughter, we appreciate each and every one of you. God loves you. God bless you. And keep your eyes out for our next video. And we'll catch you then.